Hi guys, in this video we are going to talk about the morph deformer. The morph deformer works alongside with the morph tag. So let me quickly go in here and I'll create um, a normal um, cylinder. Alright, nothing much. And I'll add enough segment in the height, maybe 10. Um, then I'll make it editable, right? So I'll go ahead and right click and add a morph tag. So I'll go to character tags. And if you are in like earlier version, I think R23 and R24, like it might be in the um Regan tags or something. So you go to the character tags and you can see we have post morph. So they choose the post morph and now it stores the state that we have. So we come into the post morph rather, we choose points. And now it so the base post is the what we have originally, and now it creates a new post for us. So whatever we do will apply to this post zero. So right, so we'll go in because I choose points, we'll go in and start manipulating the points. So I'll select one of the points and hit control A. Then I'll maybe scale it on this side. Maybe make it this way. This is just an example, so nothing much. So what we have done is now we we have a a a, 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 a post on post zero. So if I should go to the strength and reduce, you can see it gets back to its normal shape, right? So basically, in the morph tag itself, that's all we can do. Just animate it in and out, right? So we we come to animate. So if you wanted to animate it, this is where we animate it. But for instance, sometimes you might not want to fully make everything moving smoothly. So that's where um, the post morph, uh, morph, uh, morph deformer comes in. So I'll bring in the morph deformer. Um, morph. Yeah, that's it. The morph deformer. And I'll make it a child of the cylinder, right? And now we'll drag, drag and drop the morph tag in here when i see we have the post so we can control it here as well but what the morph tag gives us that it gives us the fall off so now i can actually come in and create a linear fall off i'll change it to let's say y and you can see now you can gradually reveal it using the fall off so basically that's the control the morph deformer gives us apart from that nothing really fancy Apart from that, nothing really crazy about it. So that's all about the morph deformer.